Hey guys, happy Friday. I do live in a jet zone, so if you hear them flying over while I'm recording, I'm sorry. I've literally filmed this 400 times. Um, I decided to make a video talking about my budget because I've had a couple people ask me how I go to school all day and not work as much as I used to. For those of you who follow me on the regular, you already know I'm a full-time nursing student. For those that are new or just watching this for some hints and tips on how to save money and work on a budget, I'm a full-time nursing student. I used to work two full-time day jobs and go to school full-time at night, and then my wonderful boyfriend decided to help me out and pay my rent, which is $600. That's the highest bill I had. Um, so I was like, yes, that'll absolutely allow me to go to school all day because going to school all day, I get eight hours of learning, and going to school at night, you only get five. So that extra three hours, we have lab time, we have study time, whatever. So because of my boyfriend, I'm able to do what I do, and I had to make it work. So when I quit working both full-time jobs during the day, I decided to work on weekends and any shifts that I could pick up. So with that being said, I wrote down my budget every month and my total comes to around $910 because I rounded everything up to the nearest dollar. There's three top bills that I pay every month regardless of whatever other bills come in the mail because they're my priority, which is my car payment, $280, my car insurance, which is $118, and my power bill is around $250. That is gonna plummet and drop to about $40 or $50 in the summer because my living space is so small that I can run one AC unit in the living room and keep the whole house cool all day. So I can't wait for summer. Um, and I can't wait for spring to just cut the heat off. So other bills on top of that, cable and internet is $135, my phone bill is $47, credit card, I pay the minimum $25 a month, Pandora, I pay $5 a month for that because I don't like commercials and my music is my everything. And then I pay $50 to Sally Mae for my student loans because I want to pay now so that I have less debt when I'm done. So. That's grand total around $910. That does not include my gas allowance. That does not include food because normally I don't really have too much left over for food. Um, and that doesn't include my hospital bills due to my recent medical episode. That doesn't include any other outstanding debt with any other schools or anything. So those are just the main bills I try to pay every month. And if I can't, I call them and make arrangements because shit happens. Um, so yeah, how I save money. I use coupons. I use them at Burger King. I use them at Dollar General. I use them everywhere. And I also don't drive unless I absolutely have to. So I literally drive to school, come home, go to clinical, come home, go to work, come home. I usually have people pick me up if they want to go to the gym. If they want me to go anywhere with them, I make them usually pick me up because I don't have the budget to just drive around like I used to do and go to Walmart and go to Target and go shopping and do everything I used to love to do. So another thing I do, work when you can. I pick up shifts as many times as I can just to make ends meet because I do have a lot of bills. It's stressful, everyone's going through it pretty much and you just have to do what you can do. And the other thing, I shop at Food Lion primarily because they have their MVP little members card and then they have their brand and then also if you use coupons on top of that you'll have massive savings I always plan out my shopping trip before I go coupon divas on Facebook you can like them they always post like coupon matchups and the coupons of the week they have all kinds of good coupon deals and I also go on food lion and get their coupons and then the coupons that come in the mail I clip them too so I'm always constantly clipping coupons trying to save a buck if you save $20 on a shopping trip, that $20 can go in your gas tank, it can go in your savings, it can go towards a Dunkin' Donuts latte, whatever you want. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I do to save money. Um, I'm a homebody anyways, so I don't really like to go out. Uh, my boyfriend is deployed, so it's not like I go out to bars or go out to eat like we used to do. Thank you. When we're together, that's usually what we do. Um, and I have made changes to my lifestyle, like I used to be with Verizon with my cell phone plan, but because it was so outrageous, I switched to Straight Talk, which is 47 bucks a month for unlimited everything. I'm good with it. Um, I have a pretty decent phone. My OtterBox is kind of broke, but 
I have the Samsung S3, it works, I text, I have Pandora, that's all that matters. Um, so those are just things that I do and I primarily just work on weekends so in one weekend if I work a Saturday and Sunday I'll make about 140 without taxes taken out and then with taxes taken out it's around 128-ish, 130-ish. Um, so I just really prioritize my money and where I want it to go and what bills are more important for me. Um, another thing I do, I shop frequently at Dollar Tree. Everything's a dollar. They even have food now. Like they have olive oil, cleaning supplies. They have everything. They even accept manufacturer coupons. And I shop at Dollar General. There's literally one right up the street from my house and that's where I go for a lot of my items too. Um, and they take manufacturer coupons and they also have their own coupons. So, and Family Dollar, I don't really shop there, but they send like a coupon thing in the mail like once a month. They offer coupons, they take manufacturer coupons. So, number one thing is to coupon. You'll definitely save money. It is strategic. You have to plan out your route and what you want to buy, but also to save money, you have to lower your standards. If you're used to eating, you know, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, you have to go for the Food Lion brand of it. I've had to do it. I've been doing it. It happens. There's some weeks when I eat nothing but ramen. I know when my next paycheck comes in, if I have an extra $30 left over, I'm going to look for coupons to get a decent amount of food from Food Lion so that I can have food for the week. I do take my lunch to school, clinical, and work just so that I'm not eating out. Um, and I pinch my pennies. I'm, I'm very stingy with my money because A, I work hard for it. B, I'm broke. C, I have tons of bills piled up on top of me. So those are just things that I do to try and make ends meet. And the last thing I really have to say about it, and it's really cliche, but it all works out, strangely. Um, I mean, sometimes I don't even know how I'm going to make a payment on whatever bill, and then I'll check my bank account and there's money there. Um, and I also recently signed up to be a consultant for Perfectly Posh totally worth the money. Before I even got my kit, I made sales and now I'm doing even better now that I've got my sales. So I'll link my website below if you're interested in signing up to become a consultant and run your own business from home like I do. Or if you just want to browse our products and buy some to try it, that's fine too. But that's pretty much how I make ends meet. And another thing I always constantly tell myself, and I've mentioned this in videos before, my situation is temporary. It's not always going to be like this. One day, in about 177 days when I'm done with nursing school, I'll be able to work, become financially stable, to live comfortably, and pay my bills, and eat whatever food I want. 